part of our free form February this week. It's all about being gluten free, but that doesn't mean that you cannot enjoy Pancake Day. Exactly. Can you, Dean? It's, it's great because you've got. Now, some people gluten free is not a choice. They have to be gluten free because that you know because of illness. But a lot of people are making it as a as a choice. They they, they want to be yeah, gluten free. Yeah, exactly. So, but there's ways you can do pancakes, yeah, which do is great. Yeah, do you know what? Well, when I was growing up, Lorraine, we always had the big flat pancakes, a mm. little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of sugar. Yum. As I got older, my taste buds developed, and I'm loving these kind more. of buttermilk, you know, style yeah, American lovely. pancakes. Mm. Really nice, light and fluffy. And obviously, we're making them gluten free as okay. well, which is really, really important. Um, you can get gluten free flours in all of your supermarkets these days. Okay. This is self raising. Right. Okay, so that just gets sieved into my bowl. And this, honestly, is so, so simple. You just sieve that into your bowl, mm -hmm. pop that down there, and we go in with a few more ingredients. So I've got some golden caster sugar. Lovely. We've also got some bicarbonate of soda. Okay, right. so about a teaspoon of that goes in. Now, what we're trying to do is make these really, really nice, light and fluffy, okay? okay. So the bar uh, bicarbonate of soda goes in with buttermilk. Oh, Now, right. the buttermilk is what's left over from the butter making process, and that reacts with the bicarb. And that's ah. what created little kind of air bubbles and pockets. Mm. And that's what makes these pancakes so nice, Lovely. light and fluffy. A couple of eggs go in. Yeah. OK, and then basically what we do, we give that a little bit of a whisk together. Mm -hmm. Just bringing it together nicely. And we've also got 40 grams of melted butter, which Yum. also adds just a, li a little richness to that. Oh, this is proper. So you this just bring that together, food. Lorraine. <laughs> it's literally Lovely. as simple as that, right? <clears throat> Once that's together, we get a couple of pans. Now, you want it over a nice low to medium heat. So I'm going to add a little knob of butter in to each pan. Yeah. Because I'm going to do some various toppings, Lorraine. Mm -hmm. So just get that in there and then just choose a nice small ladle. And you can see the air pockets yeah. that have been created it's by the buttermilk. So just dollop your mixture. It's quite gloopy, though, compared with other pancakey things I've seen. Ah, but we'll that's see. all right. You'll see in a minute. Mm -hmm. We want these really nice and light, Lorraine. OK. So once they go into the pan, you kind of let them do their thing. Right. You want to give them maybe around a minute or so. Okay. And in this time, we're going to add our toppings. Mm. OK, so I've got a few different toppings for you. Right. And they're basically my favourite toppings. I'm quite selfish when it comes to this. So I've got some blueberries, I which love blueberries. I love. Now, if you're only doing one flavour, you can basically kind of mix this through the batter. But I like to think everyone likes the different things, don't they? So, right. I mean, some people like that. Some people like chocolate chips. Chocolate. But obviously making sure, yeah. you know, that the chocolate that you use is gluten free. OK. But what I also like as well is a little bit of a twist. You know the old American style, you know, pancakes with bacon. Oh, so I've I got love some it. And maple syrup. pancetta, mm. which I've just crisped up in the pan. Ooh. Dollop that right. on the top there. That goes in, and we're going to so serve that with a little bit of maple syrup. Into the pancake, which Exactly. Is... Yeah. Um, right, so let me get so, that out of your way. Talking about the gluten free flour, you know, like I said, it's, for, not, uh, for a lot of people, it's not a choice, but sure. the gluten free flour that you get in your supermarkets is really, really kind of, it's, it's a blend of different flours. So you've got coconut flour, tapioca, you know, you've got oh, okay. maize, rice flour. So just find one that works for you, but okay. you, they are easily, easily available sure. in all the supermarkets. So the thing is with this, you almost want to follow your nose. Right. Okay. okay, so just making sure, just get one of these lovely little spatulas. You can also use a palette knife just to, to help you turn it. Oh, Get yeah. them over. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? Beautiful and golden. Yep. Chocolate chip one's going to go over as well. I mean, it's just so, so easy. And these are perfect for the weekend as well. And like I say, I like to uh, to actually, I'm going to turn the heat up on that one a little bit, let those cook for a little bit more. Sure. Do you know what I mean? These are absolutely delicious. Perfect for any time of day, to be and totally And does the chocolate not get all melty? Or does that not that's matter? That's the best that's thing. That's part of it. Nice, okay. gooey, chocolatey kind of thing going on. Lovely. So that's what it's all about for me. But, yeah, literally, these take literally seconds We've to seen. kind of cook no either, either side. And you just want to go until they're really, really nice. Do you see? I know. Look at that. These oh, blueberries almost gorgeous. kind of start to pop a little bit. There you go. Do you want a chocolate one on top as well, Yeah, Lorraine? obviously. Shall we just go for it? Obviously. I mean, it's perfect to get the, the get the kids involved <gasps> that. as well. Yum. But obviously, we can drizzle on just a tiny bit of that maple syrup over the top. You can gimme, also gimme, gimme, gimme. go with a little bit of creme fraiche. But they're so nice, light and fluffy. And do you know what? People kind of think that gluten-free pancakes are going to be yeah. really heavy. They're not. They're absolutely delicious. Mm -mm, you would never mm -mm, know. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, that is so good. But these You're right. Kind really of fluffy. Burst of flavour as well. A little mm. bit of acidity. Oh, yum. Mm. But that's what I'm doing tonight. Just making <laughs> tons and tons of pancakes. That'd be great fun. Mm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs>